Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FACO module. Today's topic of training is interest calculation. SAP has provided with interest calculation methods. Under interest calculation method, there are two types of methods that are available in SAP. The, they are interest calculation type. The alphabet S refers to the balance interest calculation and the alphabet P refers to item interest calculation. The balance method or the balance interest calculation method is applicable to interest calculation on GL balances whereas the interest item interest calculation will be applicable to vendor and customers. So first we'll be doing the balance interest method that is for calculating interest on GL balances and later on we'll be moving up to the next part that is the interest item interest calculation. So the configuration steps involved in the first part that is the balance interest calculation over here are first define the interest calculation types prepare account balance interest balance then define reference interest rates define time dependent terms define or specify interest rates creation of GL balance accounts and defining the automatic posting accounts. So moving to the first configuration step that is define interest calculation type. The path has been specified on your screen and we'll move to the SAP system and we'll follow the path. So first we need to go to SPRO path the transaction code so as to reach the SAP reference IMG tab. So over here we'll be moving to the SAP reference IMG. So with IMG we need to go to the financial accounting new, then the general accounting new and then the business transaction. So financial accounting new, general ledger accounting new and then to the business transaction. In that we need to go to the bank account interest calculation and then interest calculation global setting. So the bank account interest calculation then the interest calculation global setting and in this you can see over here the first configuration step is define interest calculation type. So we'll move and we'll execute this first configuration step. So in the system you can see over here that there are number of different interest IDs have been created in the system and will be will process with the same what we need to do is we need to either we can copy any of the interest and we can create our own interest over here or the second option we have is we can create via new entries as well. So instead of copy we'll go for a new entry which will give you a better idea and you can be able to understand the whole customization which can be done. So we'll move to the new entries over here and once you have been with the new entry a new screen has came up to you which is blank. So over here first we need to take a two character ID for interest. So suppose I am going for calculating interest on GL balances. So I take the first as G1 and over here I can put the name of that. So the name I am putting up over here is balance interest calculation GL. So it is what the description you can put and over here on this part you need to take the interest calculation type. So you can search for the options available. So there are only three options available. One is for interest, item interest, one is for balance interest and one is for penalty. So penalty we will not be using because that is not a standard SAP. So either P or S now as discussed in the just a while back that 
we are right now doing is balance interest calculation that refers to the GL account calculation of interest. P we will be taking once we will be calculating interest on customers or vendors. So we will select S over here for calculating the interest on GL balances. Once you have selected this now we can move to the next and we can save this screen over here. So as you save the screen your interest calculation type that is G1 has been defined. So if you want to consider the account over here as well you can take that. So this is this particular indicator is for calculation of interest selected relevant checkbox and proceed further. So over here if you checkbox this particular part you need to assign a GL account. However we don't need that particular part over here because we'll be assigning the GL accounts later on in the further steps to come. Now moving to the slides. So we are done with the defined interest calculation type and we have defined the interest calculation that is G1 on the screen. Now moving to the next configuration step that is prepare account balance interest calculation. So moving to this screen again we can move to the same path and we can move back to go for the SPRO path. So in this you can see the very next step over here after the defined interest calculation type the next step is prepare account balance interest calculation which is to be needed right now to be done. So we'll move over here to this screen and we'll execute this particular configuration step so as to customize as per our requirement. So you can see over here there are a number of different interest calculation indicators already defined. Now we need to define our own steps as well. So there are two options either you can copy or you can create your own. So the option is I can select it over here and I can go for a copy and over here you can copy as well. So over here you can read all the details which are on your system or else you can go back and we can create with the new entries as well. So any of the steps can be taken up. So if you want you can go for a new entry. So suppose I go for a new entries over here on the system. Now the first step is that you need to take an interest calculation indicator of your own. So that is the first time defined so that has to be a, a, a unique number which you need to put so that you can you can indicate the interest calculation indicator for your GL. So suppose I take it as 2020 and the interest calculation frequency now the frequency basically means that how frequent you want to calculate the interest. You want to calculate the interest monthly, every two months or every three months or how. So I would be taking it one month over here. The frequency should be one month that is every month the interest calculation has to be done. And the second of thing over here is the settlement day. So the settlement day basically refers to the day on which the interest is applied by the bank. So over here the settlement day basically will be 31 that will be there at the end of the month and then we have to move to the calculation type. So over here you have to take the calculation type on the system and over here the interest calculation type which we will be taking will be So we'll be taking the calendar type over here as G which you need to take and over here you need to select the interest rates dependent depend on the total amount. So once you have taken these steps over here now we can save the screen and your interest indicator will be defined. So now we can save it over here. So as you save your request has been saved with the request number and now you can go back. So you can see over here 20 has been defined over here. Similarly we need to create one more indicator if you want. So let's revisit the, the in interest indicator 20 again. So you can see over here this is your indicator which has been created 
and in this the month end indicator which we have uh, over here the calculation time we have taken is g and then we have we have to select this particular i think we have missed out this we have to select this over here that is balance plus interest so that uh, the interest will be reflected with the balance amount as well uh, as an option in the reports so now the further few steps are over here on this you can see month end indicator interest indicator calculation numerator then round ic numerator so the month end indicator specifies the number of days for february is 30 days not 28 it is applicable in case of certain calendar types only that is why we will not be taking month end indicator but second option that is uh, uh, the third one that is round IC in the numerator if you select the round IC numerator the system displays the product amount into number of days on which the interest is calculated so the interest will be calculated on the number of days of a month into the amount that will be a hefty amount and that will not be correct so that is why we will be selecting the option over here that is interest rates dependent on total amount in this the system calculates the interest on the total amount instead of the graduate interest scale and that is what is required so if the amount mentioned in the amount limit column the interest amount is restricted to that particular amount as well so moving to the next so we have taken the interest indicator over here as 20 which has been defined in the system so that is what we will be taking up right now we just need to create one particular indicator for calculating the interest and then later on if you want to calculate more and more of the indicators you can even do that as per your requirement so we have created the indicator now we can move back to the path we need to save it now we have moved to the path over here again and now we can move on to the presentation file and the next so we are done with the prepare, prepare account balance interest calculation we have created an interest calculation indicator and now we'll be moving to the next step and that is define reference interest rates so moving to the reference interest rates again now over here we'll move to the new entries and we'll create our own interest reference interest rates over here and we'll define all the requirement and the percentages and the date from which the interest rates will be applicable so moving to the path we need to go to the bank account interest indicator calculation and in that we need to go to the interest calculation and this you can see over here the define reference interest rates so over here as a reference we put the interest rates details so moving to this particular path we can execute this so in this particular part there are number of reference which are already been defined in the system so we'll see what we can create either we shall need to create a new one or we can copy any of them and what has to be done okay so the one which we will be creating now is uh, let's move on to the new entries so we will be taking a reference interest rate suppose I take it as Z one two zero zero that is Z is the just for a, a reference and 1200 is the company code so we can take our reference for that purpose over here you can put the long text description interest or you can take over here as reference interest rate at the rate suppose I take it as 12% for and again over here the, ref in the reference interest rates have to be maintained separately for the debit and as well as for the great credit side so this is what we are, I am creating is for debit side DR and the description over here you can take that is 12 percent DR that means debit 
interest rate moving to the next is date so the date over here is from which date you want this interest rate to be applicable in your system so the interest rate from whenever you want suppose I put the date over here as 1st of April it should be valid and the currency over here that is USD enter so these are the details which have been taken up over here in the screen similarly you need to create your reference so this is one which I have created only for the debit side similarly we need to create for the credit side as well so let's move on and create one for again for the credit side as well so you can save this option over here saved now we can move back and even we can take the same path the same reference and we can copy that over here and now we can change the things over here now so suppose I change it as Z and now I can put it as Y and over here I can put the reference detail as DR and over here I can again take it as CR that is the credit side or the rest of the things I want to have it as usual same no change in that so this is what I have done I have created two reference interest rates one is for the credit side and one is for the debit side the credit side is Y1200 and the debit side is Z1200 similarly you can create of your own you can take it even 1000 and 1001 you can take it as Y001 and Y002 you can take even as as you wish so it's up to you I have taken it as Y1200 and Z1200 so we can save this screen over here now and your reference interest rate has been created so once we are done with this part we can move to the next and that is defining the time dependent terms so moving to the time dependent terms okay let's uh, just a second now moving so moving to the time dependent terms part on the configuration step we can see over here the very next step over here is define time dependent terms so we can execute this part over here and now we can see the various indicators so the indicator which we need to look after now is uh, is 20 that has not been defined over here on the screen as of now so what we will be doing is we can create our own time dependent interest rates so for that we need to go to the new entry now so as we move to the new entry we first need to take the interest calculation indicator so the indicator which we will be having is uh, the same which we have created initially that is 2020 if you remember we created on over here if you can remember it over here and this part we have created the 20 indicator so the same indicator will be taking up over here and the second part is we need to take the currency so the currency will be USD now we need to put the date from which it will be effective so I will be taking the same date that is 1st of April 2014 from this particular year April onwards it will be effective now moving to the next is the sequence number so we'll first take the sequence number as 1 and the 1 will be for the credit side so we need to select the terms over here now so the terms which will be selected is uh, we need to take the balance indicator calculator mind it the error interest calculator will be for the customers so what we will need to take over here is only the balance interest calculator so even in that we need to take the sequence 1 as credit interest so you will be selecting over here so the sequence 1 will always be credit indicator and then moving down we can select the interest rates reference so the reference was we just have created a while in the last step so we can select that over here as a reference interest rate so we can search that on okay this is not there 
so we need to search it again okay so what we can do is we can define the percentage over here so the percentage I will be putting up is 12 that is 12 percent and now we can save the screen over here so once you put the premium over here that means that is the interest rate that will be applicable on this particular indicator that is 12 percent so now we can save the screen over here and it has been saved similarly we need to go back and again we need to create one more indicator over here because this indicator is created only for the credit interest we need to create one for the debit as well so we'll select this Mac and we can go to copy and now we can create one over here that is sequence 2 and over here we need to take the debit interest balance interest calculation so that is the second sequence so every interest calculation indicator will have two sequence one is for debiting the interest and another is for crediting the interest so both the indicators are important and that has to be taken on the screen even if you want you can have the sequence changed as per your wish you can take the first sequence as the debit interest and the second as credit interest I have taken the first as credit interest and the second as debit interest so it's up to you you can even change those as per your requirement so now once you have done enter on the screen because the save option is not there whenever we copy anything so as to create our own the system will not give you the save options to save the transaction or to save the configuration step so to have that you have to enter on the screen so enter once you enter you can see over here the number of entries have been copied and you can see on the screen over here as well that there are now two indicators created one is for the debit interest and another is for the credit interest so moving to the next step that is define or specify interest rates here we define or specify the rate of interest for the reference interest rates which we have just defined a couple of steps back so moving to this particular step we need to go to the financial accounting new then the general ledger accounting and then business transactions and in business transactions we need to go to the bank account interest calculations so in that we need to go to the interest calculation in that you can see that there is an option of interest enter interest values so this particular steps is optional this is not needed to be done for the interest calculation that is why we can skip this particular procedure to just give an overview to you in this part we can move on to execute it so in the screen you can see that there are references they are description they are valid from which date to which from which date and the interest rates have been defined so similarly you can move over here to new entries and then you can add your own reference that is Z1200 we can put the date over here as 0104 2014 and we define the interest over here as you can see on the screen so this interest reference interest we have just created a while back when we created the reference interest rates over here this is step so in that we created two reference interest rates one is for debit side and one is for the credit side so we'll be creating one for the debit side and we'll be taking the another one for the credit side as well that is why and the dates will be the same and the percentage will also be same so on the debit and the credit side maybe at times the interest rates may vary because uh, maybe the debit side is for the payment which has to be received and the credit side is the payment which has to be paid and that is why there are differences in interest rates at times that is why there is a step allowed to you to as to define the different percentages for debiting the interest and for crediting the interest 
So we can save this step over here. So once this step has been saved, you can see the configuration has been done. So this is how you will be creating your reference interest rates. And now moving to the next step, that is creation of GL account. So we need to create the GL account because we need to assign the automatic posting account. So for automatic posting of the interest to the interest account, we first need to create the GL account for them as well. So for going for this particular part, we need at least for completing the interest on calculation and all the testing parts, we need to calculate two GL set. We need to create at least two GLs or we should have at least two GL in the system. One is for loan and another is for interest. We need these two GLs in the SAP system. Then only we'll be able to define those GL with the automatic posting parts. So the first GL we can see in the transaction code FS00. So we can move on to the screen over here and we can see slash n FS00 enter. So in the company code 1200, we can move and we can check whether there is any loan amount, loan GL or not. If there is any loan GL, we can use the same loan GL. Or if you want, you can create your own loan GL as well. So you can see in the screen, there are two loan account has already been defined. But is there any interest account defined in the system or not? So there is no interest account. So we need to create an interest account and the interest account will be a part of expense. So for that, we first need to create an expense GL in the system. So let's move on to create that. So for that, we need to go for the series. That is this. The last number which has been used is 400007. So we'll be taking 8 over here so as to create the GL account for interest. So we can go to this create option. Now this GL which is starting with 4 if you remember your account group that is we can go and cross check that as well. Slash o o b d 4 enter. So you can see from the screen okay seems the screen has not opened up let's try the transaction once again so you can see over here there are four GLs maintained over here and for expense expense GLs are starting with the digit 4 and that is why we need an interest allowed expense account and that is this has been taken as a blank part so over here we'll be taking the account group as expense expense which is a part of profit and loss account so we'll select the profit and loss statement account in the sort text we'll be taking the sort description that is uh, interest allowed similarly we can take the long text over here now moving to the next control data part in the control data we need to take the line item display and we need to select only balances in local currencies and then we can move to the third tab and over here we'll be taking the filled status group that will be G004 so this is how we have created one GL and now we can move and we can save over here so once saved the GL has been created So now we already had a loan GL. Now if you want to see the loan GL as well, we can go and we can have a look to that as well. So 
so you can see the loan GL is already there so you can double click on it and you can go to this display part and you can see that the loan GL is already created in the head liability which is a part of balance sheet and even you want to change the text detail you can go to the change and over here you can take and correct it as well loan probably you can write from Citibank the same thing you can define over here from Citibank as well then the control data over here you can see that it is it should not be a part of asset it should be a general account so no reconciliation account has to be selected for this only the line item display has to be there then moving to the next is create bank interest and in this you need to take G001 so you can see now over here in the loan account also there were certain changes to be done first the change which we did is we took off the reconciliation account because whenever you create any such loan account or expense account or any of the revenues account no reconciliation account has to be taken the second part is create bank and interest in that the filled status group we need to take is G001 so once you have taken this now we can save this over here and your loan changes has also been done and your loan account has also been defined so once we have done this we are done with the GL account we have created the loan account and we have also created the loan interest allowed account as well so now we can move to the next step and that is for defining the automatic interest account so to define the automatic interest account we need to go to the path again and that we need to go to the bank interest bank account interest calculation and then the interest posting and in that prepare GL account balance so we'll move to the SAP screen to the SPRO path so in that we can see over here in the bank account interest calculation you can see over here the interest posting is there and when you expand the interest posting part over here you will find that there is a step for assigning the GL that is prepare GL account balance interest calculation so executing the step over here now you can see on the screen that uh, there are certain things are displayed on the screen to you and over here there is GL account interest calculation 004 so to do that over here now we need to assign the things so from this screen you can see that uh, the things over here are defined our standard SAP system where the rules have been defined for interest received on the debit side and then the interest allowed and all so what we need to do in this is we need to go to the accounts over here so once you click on to the accounts it asks you the chart of account on the screen to you we need to put your chart of account so once you defined your chart of account over here assign the chart of account we can go to continue so now the system takes you to the next screen so in this what we need to take is we need to select the account symbol over here so the account symbol which we need to select is from the list of these options are the first is we need to take is interest paid because now we are calculating the things for the interest paid part so we'll select it over here so for interest paid the symbol for interest paid is 0002 and the currency will be USD and over here we'll be selecting the GL account for interest paid account so which GL has to be assigned for the interest paid that is the interest allowed which we just have created so we'll assign that GL over here so we need to go and check the GL from the list of uh, which we have just created that is FS00 so this was the, the GL over there 4, 5, 4 times 0, 8 so this is the GL that belongs to the interest paid part similarly moving to the next we need to take the loan account part as well 
So the next part which we will be taking is 2000 that is GL account paid. So the account from which the, the interest will be paid has to be taken up over here. So that is what we will be selecting it over here as that is 2000 and over here the currency will again be same that is UST but the GL which we need to take over here is the part of the loan account because whatever the interest will be there will be allocated or will be accumulated onto the loan amount so that is what the GL will be taking over here loan from Citibank so the interest will keep on adding into the loan account part and accordingly the installment will be paid that particular balances will keep on reducing so these are the two parts which you have to maintain over here so as to assign the GL account for interest calculation so once we have defined in GL over here for interest calculation one is 0002 for the interest allowed account and one is for 2000 for the GL paid that is the loan from Citibank account similarly you need to assign your interest account onto the symbol 002 and then the loan account to the symbol 2000 now once we have assigned the GL over here now we can go and we can save this screen and your automatic GL assignment has been done so you can see the changes have been made now moving back so that is it over here the GL account has been assigned for the balance interest calculation that is the interest calculation on the GL balances so that is the last configuration step and now we can move to the unit testing part and we'll see how the system calculate the interest on the GL balances at the percentage which we have assigned so the rate of percent which we have defined for interest calculation is 12 percent per annum if you remember the whole configuration part so now moving on to the next that is now we'll be doing the unit testing so in the unit testing first thing which we have to do is we have to do a loan posting so we first have to take a loan so that the interest can be calculated on the loan balance amount so let's move on we'll do the first posting for a loan to be received so for posting a loan received entry in the system we need to go to the transaction FB 50 so let's move on to the SAP system FB5050 so over here we'll be posting a transaction for taking a loan from the bank so suppose I take a loan on a bank date so that I can check the interest calculation how the system does as well so suppose I take the loan on 1st of October 2014 and then we can move over here to the GL accounts so we need to select the GL account over here for loan as well as for the bank account from which I will be taking the loan so whenever you take a loan the normal journal entry which is used to be made is the bank accounts gets credited and the loan account gets sorry I am just taking the other ways very sorry so the basic entry which is done is bank accounts gets debited and the loan account gets credited because while taking a loan your liability get increased and on the other side your bank balance increases so we'll select the GL account over here we would be needing two GL accounts one is a bank account and another is a loan account so the loan account will be using the same which we have just assigned so I am taking the bank account over here is Citibank incoming account and will debit this particular bank account suppose I take a loan of fifty thousand dollars and the second GL which I will be taking is the loan account that is the loan from Citibank so even you can have a loan from any other places but uh, the basic concept is that you should 
first post alone entry on the system and then only the system will calculate the interest on that particular loan so once you have taken this now we can move up and it asks you for the value date so you need to put the value date over here so we took that now we can go and we can simulate this transaction so you can see the transaction has been simulated and the transaction preview shows you that the bank incoming account has been debited or have been increased by fifty thousand dollars whereas the loan from city has been fifty thousand dollars that means a liability has been raised in the books of accounts as well so now we can save this transaction over here and the transaction is will be posted and you will find okay the system given an error related to business area that means it says that the business area is mandatory so we need to first assign the business area over here on as well as you move ahead so you can see this is the business area so we can select the business area first so the business area over here is 1210 so that is what has been assigned now we can move on and can simulate the document once again and then we can move and we can post a transaction so you can see the document number has been generated that means the loan document or the loan received transaction has been successfully posted in the SAP system so once now this has been done even if you want you can check that over here you can go and can display the document so you can see this or even the second part you can do is you can take this incoming bank GL and even you can check that incoming bank with the transaction FBL3N that is the GL line item display and even over here you can check the bank incoming bank balance that it has been increased or not so you can see that there is only one line that is fifty thousand dollars that the incoming payment has been received so now we can move to the next part that is the interest calculation run so now we'll be calculating the interest on the balance amount so we have taken the loan on first of October and let's execute the interest calculation run on the end of the month that is suppose 31st October I want to execute the interest calculation run and we'll see how the interest is calculated and what is the amount that it calculates so the transaction code for that is F.52 enter so on the screen over here we need to take the chart of account first then the company code and then moving down we have to take the calculation period so the calculation period over here is the period for which the interest will be calculated so over here the period will be 01 1102014 that is October 1st 2014 till the end of the month that is 31st October 2014 and even if you want you can put the business area over here as well that is 2014 was this the business area or okay or you can leave that particular part as a blank over here as well you can take the currency over here as well that is USD and suppose if you have number of different interest calculation indicators like in a practical example in a practical scenarios there are different interest indicators for 10 percent because they are they have different balances on which the interest has to be calculated and many of them have different rate of interest so certain will be having five percent some of them will be having eight percent some are having twelve percent or ten percent as well so in a practical scenario there are number of different interest calculation indicators defined and which particular loan or which particular GL account will be applicable for which interest indicator accordingly the interest are calculated on that so we need to take the GL account over here as well 
for which GL we want the interest to be calculated. So we need to go over here to the GL account and we can select the GL account as well over here. So now I want to calculate the interest on the balance on the particular GL that is loan from Citibank. So I have selected the GL over here as well and now I want to calculate the interest for the period of October. So I took the date of the calculation period from 1st of October to 31st of October. I have taken the currency over here. Now, few things more you have to take. You have to, we have taken the chart of account, assigned the GL number which for which GL account for which we want the interest calculations to be done. Then we have taken the company code, we have assigned the period for which the interest calculation has to be done that is the 10th period or you can see the October month. Then we have assigned the currency over here. Now we can move down further on the screen over here. And in this we need to assign the output control so that we can get a relevant output of the calculation. So for that we need to select this first option and the second one that is a standard interest calculation and additional balance line so that the system will show you everything related to the interest calculation, the rate of interest, the indicator, what is the interest amount, what is the balance amount and all. Then the next thing we have to take is the posting control. In this we need to select all these three parts. One is posting interest settlement then posting also with value date in the past then update master data over here and another thing is the session name should not be changed it will always remain the same so requested not to change this else the system will give you errors while calculating the interest so these are the all details which you have to fill on your GL account interest scale that is the interest calculation run as well can be said so now we can execute this report over here and once we execute now the system gives you no list generated. So the system is not able to find any GL where the indicator which we have created that is 20 has been assigned to. So now what we need to do is we need to go back again and we move on to the same screen. Now we want to calculate the interest on this GL that is the loan from Citibank GL account. So what we have to do is we need to go to the GL master account first. So to went to the GL master we need to go to FS00 enter. So in this we need to first check in the GL master that did we have assigned any interest indicator in this GL account or not. So you can see over here in the tab create bank interest over here there is an indicator of interest. So interest indicator they, they, it is particularly blank over here on the screen. So first we need to assign an indicator over here and whichever indicator will be assigned on this particular field only that on the basis of that indicator the interest will be calculated onto this GL. So we need to make it a change control and then we can assign the interest indicator over here that is 20 and over here we need to take the interest calculation frequency as well so that you can check with the F4 key and that will be one month so every month the interest will be calculated so whatever the frequency you assign it over here accordingly the interest will be calculated later on so you need to assign the interest indicator so interest indicator is the one which decide that what will be the percentage of interest rate which will be applicable onto this GL account on the loan balance. So the 20% indicator which we have customized have the interest rate of 12%. So we can save it now. So once we have saved this part now we can go back again to our calculation of interest report and now we can execute this report for the month of October and we can see now what the report shows. So we can execute this and now you can see that the calculation has been reflected on your screen. 
So you can see the details over here. Here is the company code. The interest indicator is reflected to you. That is 20. Your account number, that is the GL account number, has been reflected. That is the description of the GL is loan from city. And the calculation period has also been reflected over here. That is 1st of October till 31st of October. That is for the month of October. Now, coming down over here, you can see the value date, then the document number which has been created on the screen and the posting date has also been maintained and the amount which is outstanding is $50,000 has been shown on your screen and then the interest which has been calculated is 12% you can see now and the interest amount which comes out is 4000 sorry 493.15 dollars so 493 dollars and 15 cent and now if you come down the closing balance is fifty thousand dollars and the interest rate is twelve percent and the interest amount is four hundred four ninety three point one five and the total closing balance of the GL that is two zero 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 two two that is loan from Citibank is now fifty thousand four hundred and ninety three dollars and fifteen cent. So the interest has again been reflected to you as a separate part and even it shows you the name of the company and the company belongs to Texas as maintained. So this is your interest calculation part as reflected onto your screen. So now the screen which you are just been having on the system is the preview of the interest calculation. But yet, this particular interest has not yet been posted into the SAP system. So if you found that the interest which has been calculated on the screen and the interest has been calculated for the days, that is 30 days on the screen, is correct and fine, then you can do one thing to post a transaction. Now you need to go to the, on the menu part over here, to the system. And in this, you need to go to the services. And in services, you need to go to the batch input. And in batch input, you need to go to the session. So as to have your own batch, and that batch has to be executed, then only this particular interest calculation will be posted into the system. And a document number, an accounting document number, will also be generated for the accounting reference. So now click on the session. So you can see over here, there are number of uh, sessions have been created, but the latest one belongs to the one which we need to execute. So once you have selected this batch over here, we need to go to the process and then we need to select this display error only. And now we can process the batch over here. So once we select on the process, now your interest will be processed in the system and their document will be posted on the system as well. So once I click on to the process now it asks you the business area on the line item 1. So that is what you need to assign over here. So you need to assign the business over here business area so the business area was not been taken that's why the system is giving error with respect to the business area so we have taken the business area now and now we can enter on the screen okay it asks you the account assignment model as well so the account assignment model is not needed to be filled we can move back and now we can go on to process so you can see the document number has been over here the preview has been generated to you on the screen over here and the document which will be posted is interest allowed will be debited with the interest GL and your loan GL will be credited with the interest amount and once we move on to this save option over here the interest will save uh, the document will be saved and your interest will be charged onto the loan account. So now your batch input has been completed over here. So we can exit the batch input. So this is your interest which has been calculated now and we have even processed the batch which could be 
processed otherwise with the transaction code SM35 as well but instead of that we have went to the menu path and from there we went to the batch input screen directly so now we can check the interest amount through the GL account so we can move on to execute the report FBL 3N enter so once we enter now we'll be taking two GL over here which are involved for the interest calculation one is 200022 that is the loan account and another one is 40008 that is the interest allowed account so once we have taken to these two GL so as to check their balances now we can move on to execute and then we can execute the report over here and now we can see that in the loan account an interest of 493 has been credited that means now the total liability has increased for the organization from $50,000 to $50,493 and 15 cent whereas the interest allowed account has been debited with $493.15 so this is how your interest calculation has been done for the GL balances so this is what we are done with the interest calculation on the GL account and now in the next training session we will be doing the interest calculation on customer errors so till then you can practice your interest calculation on GL account create more and more interest indicators with different percentages then you can post different transactions and on each of the GL different loan account or different GLs you can post assign different interest indicators and you can process your interest calculation run and you can check how the system is calculating the interest and is it correct or not and accordingly you can run your batch so as to post that interest into the system and you can check those things with this report that is the GL line item display so that is it we'll see you in the next session and in that we'll be doing the interest calculation on the customer areas thank you then take care bye bye